He's got life. He's got nothing. And Christian Barrymore is all over him. The player of the tournament so far, Christian Barrymore is too fat and too slow. Showtime. Showtime has done more with less. He's, he's done more with less. What this is, what this is, is a live circuit. We have been running this circuit the entire year. We'd had 16 qualifiers, whether they were real mutt tournaments, one night mutt tournaments, one day CFMs, week long CFMs, whoever won those tournaments earned their spot into the final 16. That final 16 whittled down to a final eight and that final eight was brought out here to Oklahoma to play live. As you see it right there, that was the final 16. They're playing for their share of $20,000. The entire circuit has given over $40,000, but this portion of it is actually 20 grand. And we have Show, Showtime versus Dez are the last two men standing. And it's been going on all year. We've had, different, like I said, different qualifiers, maybe one mutt tournament every two weeks, and the winner of that gets into that final 16. And you see it right there. You see big names have already lost. Pavin was in here. D. Croft, obviously. John Beast. K. Mac was in here. Uh, Who's that? Jaron Lambeau, David T lost the dignity. There it is. Lambeau, obviously, Vose was in here. Astro, and we're we're left with Des, the two-time four hundred thousand dollar money winner, and Showtime, the sixteen-year-old sweat. There it is. You see it right there. Showtime, sixteen years old, bright future in Madden. As you see what he's been able to do already in this tournament. There they are. There's the boys. And listen, this is nice to have a, another live event, another circuit. Another event, man, we've been talking about over the years, like how hard is it to be a Madden pro? But if there's multiple ways to win money, multiple ways to earn money on the virtual gridirons, always a good thing for Madden and for these pros, man. Guys that just want to sweat the game, guys that just want to get good at the game. There's so many opportunities, and this is a huge one. But let's, boys, can we kick the game off? Can we get going? Can we get rocking? These guys are locked in. I don't know if they're still in the dark. Okay, look at us. Okay, we, I mean... We're looking a little better. Triple cam. Love to see it. No, that, I mean, showtime out of the dark into the light. What a metaphor we really just put on for the last game. We'll have another dump truck after this game, boys. If you guys stay here, we'll do one more. Oh, big dot underneath. Debo. Okay, we'll see if Dez can attack, attack this defense a little bit more effectively than Decroft did. Decroft made some plays, but it wasn't pretty. It wasn't effortless. Another six-man rush here underneath. Get rid of the ball fast. Bo Jackson, big tackle there from Simmons, though. Boys rocking with Showtime. A lot of chat. Is Showtime now the chat favorite? RPO out here. I mean, Tillman's been a beast. I mean, he's been a beast on RPO defense, like block shedding. Chat, quick, what's Tillman's block shed rating? Go. Go, Chad. I know one of you guys know. Oh, 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 my goodness. I mean, ew. I mean, as soon as I tell you guys how good Tillman is, he doesn't make that play right there. But then does, does it make a miss with Kyle Pitts? We've seen has been the hardest player to tackle, and he doesn't make a miss there, and he's now he's at the nine-yard line. Let's see what he goes with here. Stretch to the left. Oh, there he is. Xavier Collins making that play from the defensive end spot. Charles Tillman has 88 block shed. I mean, Peanut Tillman. Here we go. He gets, he gets one yard there on first down. He's got eight yards to go now to the end zone. RPO out wide. Big dive. Is that Howard again? No, that's 52. Is it Ray Lewis? Ray, Lou, oh, Patrick Willis, P. Willie, P. Willie, P. Willie, P. Willie. So he's got P. Willie, and he's got Fred Warner out there, outside linebacker. Audibles of trips tight end. He really manned the lines. Try to stop that RPO here. Good defense. Tackles mid zone. And that not scoring with Kyle Pitts there is definitely going to hurt Dez here as he's going to settle for three. Every tackle matters in Madden, boys. And some tackles are bigger than others. And that tackle Showtime had was huge. Huge. How many eggs did you guys open in the chat? Somebody told me Scomo had 3,000 eggs. That's unheard of. He, it's, Scomo posted that he broke the egg record. How many eggs do I have? Dude, I didn't even have Christmas presents. I don't believe in the shenanigans with football, all right? If you guys want to believe in the shenanigans, I, I leave that for other people. Me, I'm about blood, sweat, and tears on the football field, all right, boys? It will be popping. This is why we watch. 
There we go. As our boy Showtime starts with the patented Showtime base. Not a lot of other ops running the base as much as Showtime, but he seems to be fond of it as it doesn't work for him there as he loses the, <laughs> the yards he gained on first down. He lost. Another third and ten. The man that can't pass has found himself in a situation to pass. Third and ten. What is Showtime cooking? He, he's going for that? Oh, I mean, Showtime comes back to the football. Once again, that's a situation where you don't expect him not to get his hands on the football, so you don't go for the pick. But Showtime, he's a man of fourth and long. And he, right now, early, he has a fourth and long. And we've seen Dez do this multiple times, dropping into that over G, the over G. Motioned out McCaffrey right to left. Showtime. Everybody on a streak is – he's going to catch it. Oh, he drops it. Three streaks – what is that? Four streaks in a corner. I mean, what did he cook there, boys? Yes, Oklahoma University did put us in the gulag. Good defense right there by Showtime. This 6-1, man, has been really what's been carrying him for the most part. Here we go. Second and 10, as we've seen, does stop for three on his first drive. Goes with that delay route underneath the pits. Picks up a good chunk there. Gives him a third and manageable. No huddle. Right to the line. Flat. Oh, damn. Big tackles. Fourth and one. I feel like it's worth to go for this for sure. We'll see. He's going to get low. He's going to try to get low with him. It's tough to get low with a man like Show. We'll see what he does. A lot of beef here in the box from the boys. Mm, somebody didn't like it. Dez did not like it. He decided not to get low. He's going to spread them out. No ditty. We see, he saw Bearmore, Bearmore, and he just wasn't liking it as he goes to the trips tight end. Tough to guard the RPO out of this. We'll see what Showtime does. And it is an RPO. A lot of people running the football, but he gets a block. Oh, and he fights inside the five. Beef in the box? Is that like – you guys never heard that term? A lot of beef in the box. Is this the first game of the night? Glad you're showing up at such a moment. This is the finals of the $20,000 tournament. As we have been live here for an hour and a half, as Bo Jackson gets into the end zone. Speaking of beef in the box, Bo Jackson gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Bo Jackson. And Dez goes up 10 0. Tough spot for Showtime, but he's been in tough spots the entire tournament. If you guys didn't watch yesterday, Showtime was once down 17 points to uh, belt winner John Beast and was able to come back in that game. Well, was also down so to D. Croft in the last game and was able to clutch. So this is the finals, boys. The entire year of Red Hot Gaming qualifiers and everything has come down to this moment. They're playing for a trophy. They're playing for the glory. They're playing to get out of the dark. And Showtime did last game, but maybe he's not a man that's meant to play in the light. Maybe he's meant to play in the shadows as he didn't get a yard his first drive, but he's back at it again here on offense. Here we go. Roll out bow. Oh, feet. What a seed right there. That's what a man throws. Did he care about Charles Tillman? No. Did he care about throwing a pick? No. That's the thing about Showtime. He doesn't care about throwing picks. He doesn't care about, you know, anything. He's just out there balling. No preparation. Some people just like playing from behind. All the blows to the trips. I mean, so much of this game is how well did it defend the RPO and trips. Good pressure. Great pressure, actually. He's going to throw it. Set his feet. Nice job by Showtime. Underrated thing right there. If you saw him, he didn't throw in the run right there. He stopped, took a little two-step, boop, boop, and he throws the streak right there. As we see, another timeout used by Dez. What the no huddle will do sometimes will make you cool use those timeouts. Dez down to one timeout here in the first half, but he gets into that 6-1. We've seen him use the glitch RPO. Big tackle by Simmons there. Will he go back to the glitch RPO? Now, what he does here is the RPO, he'll motion over Vernon Davis. And then, uh oh, blitzes everybody. Oh, good throw by Showtime. See, he noticed that. That's a great play, man. That's just a great. He noticed that 
unlike most people, Dez was using the safety there in 6-1, meaning that he probably blitzed his linebacker, which he did the first play. Dez repeats the same defense, and Showtime was able to exploit it with that little wheel route to the tight end there in between the zones. Good answer. After a man went down 10, he fights back out of the shadows into the light. And then he kicks the ball out of bounds now to donate 10 yards here. I mean, you give him 16 yards, which is essentially another first down. But what Showtime wants is the ball back here at the end of the half. Part of me feels like you could accomplish the same thing by just playing aggressive defense, you know, as he's already past midfield here. So he's already in field goal range. So I never believed in the kick the ball out of bounds on purpose thing. Will Max protect double corners? He's going to have both of them. Good throw. I mean, he's right down inside the one. So Showtime got his wish to get the ball back here. Uh, not quite as easily as he thought. Does audibles to the tight. Ooh, nice play. Ooh, oh, he misses the hit stick. Nice play. And the crowd goes wild on that touchdown. One of the better touchdowns of the day, if I must say so myself. Listen, the thing about John Madden football here, ladies and gentlemen, is that no matter how bad the first half goes, there's always the second half, all right? The crowd is deafening. Matter of fact, Freddy Krueger, you're winning a giveaway, dude. I like your presence tonight. Up, oh, RPO, showtime. We got a good – This is. It. I mean, we got a good turnout. I don't know what's up with them. I, maybe they partied too much last night. I don't know if they have a fan favorite right now. I don't know who they're rooting for. As Showtime's trying to take the air out of the ball here, hopefully – the thing about Dez using those timeouts, he won't be able to control the clock as well without those in his arsenal. Oh, that was the best RPO defense we've seen all day. Charles Tillman, dude. Another player that's just, just bouncing off the screen right now, that Charles Tillman card. User and Karloff is always back to bow. Okay, 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 good throw by Showtime. Good catch, too, and he stays in bounds. Doesn't really matter in the second quarter, but good job by does or by Showtime there, staying in bounds. Veteran move. No one said he was the sharpest tool in the shed, but he's balling. So here we go. Another base, Bearmore again. Absolute stud. Not a lot of swag for a D tackle, but, you know, he's been a beast all day. Bearmore, Charles Tillman. Ed Reed making a tackle there, third and nine. If he gets his first down, he can take the whole half with him. I did win my game. I play after this one, so stay tuned, boys. Five-man rush. Ooh, overthrow right there. Ah, this is a tough spot. I feel in my heart of hearts, you got to get some points here. We'll see what he decides to do. He's going to go for it here. Our boys showtime. Big spot. We've seen them get fourth and longs like they're easy. Fourth and nine here. Not the easiest because there's not as much space here at the 34-yard line. You know you're getting a three-man rush from Dez as he's user in the end. You get some good pass protection. Roll right here. Not going to do it. Derwin James making the play. Boom. I, you just needed right there in that combo, you needed a backside route there. He had no backside dig, no backside drag, nothing to bail him out. As Dez took away the short one, allowed his zone drop to take away that pass, and it's getting late early if you're showtime right now. But this is the point of Dez using those timeouts. He's not going to be able to control the clock as much right here. So if you're showtime, you want to tackle him in bounds. So he gets the RPO off. Gets a huge block from number 18. Gets out of bounds to a huge play by Dez up to midfield. Questionable decision having Debo Samuel out there still, but you know. I digress. Motions that tight split again. He's going max protect here. He, a good call going max protect. That's that backside drag you need. They took away the corner route. Gets a max protect. Breaks a tackle on the strip button. Gets out of bounds. Dez making it look easy right now. Absolutely rolling through the 6-1 defense. That looks so dominant last game. Audibles and trips. He still only has one timeout, but he hasn't needed it yet. Into the flats. RPO again. Does he get out of bounds again? He does. Just easy work right now. 
out of bounds. We've seen Dez move the whole field pretty much here. Debo has been doing work for Dez. Agreed. Kyle Pitts motion right to left. What's he cooking? Who knows? Delay drag underneath, but it's knocked out by Piwale, Piwale, Piwale. I actually love that route combo. That one drag and that one play is a little bit delayed, so. Quick snap here from Dez. Don't see that too often from the kid, but he hits Pitts out in the flat. Gets the first down out of bounds again. Take notes, boys. He's gotten out of bounds four different plays on his drive. Stopped the clock. Ate up a lot of yards in a little time, and that's what you want to do when you're up against it. I mean, if you're if you're showtime, you've got to keep him out of the end zone here. you got to do everything you can to keep him out of the end zone. Right there, you're getting decent pressure here. Dez rolls out. Makes, oh, no. Does he go for the glory? Oh, but he gets out of bounds. Dignity would have dove right there, but, you know, not everybody plays like him. I see three comments in the chat. Dez is in his bag. Dez acts like a female. And Dez is such a pro. A lot of different opinions in the chat. But the only opinion that matters is Dez is now up 24 to 7. Damn. But if you guys remember, just yesterday, <laughs> Showtime was down 17 points and fought back. So if there's anybody in the tournament I like when he's down 17, it's Showtime. Showtime fold. He's got 12 seconds for a miracle. Here we go. Going verts, hitting seam, incomplete. That's tough. That's going to take up four of your seconds. Showtime, different posture in the chair from the kid. See, I'm not a guy that changes posture mid-gaming. I think he's rattled. Chat, let me know. Do you guys ever switch posture? Like, do you go from locked in to lean back? Maybe you'll play better. That's really not my thing. But Showtime has gone to a different posture. Maybe can help him play a little bit better here. Is he? Oh, he might hit this, honestly. Oh, my gosh. The posture change might have been the difference. Life? Life's in the chat, boys. Life? And he can double dip the chip right here. Ed Reed really letting down uh, Dez right there in that cover three. That answered the posture question. Maybe I got to think work on my posture as gaming. Maybe I got to go to comfortable gaming. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. As he's currently down by 10. But well, he can cut this to three with a touchdown here. Oh, my goodness. He was throwing that pick. He was throwing that. Great lurk by Dez there. He knew he had no one in the flat. Ran out guard to flat for a split second. Came back over the middle. If that ball would have got released, it would have been a pick six for Dez. As we've seen him catch a pick six in his, in his final four game against Dignity. Goes RPO here. Dez running over there. Doesn't make the tackle. And Michael Irving gets out of there. Oh, 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 ah, ah, ooh. Dez gets a first. Or Dez. I want to say Dez Bryant. Michael Irving gets the first down right there. The playmaker. Chat says, do I claim the $50? Does it go to me or charity? <laughs> first time chatter. Oh, the fake step up right there. Showtime, making plays, dude. Making plays. Ooh, fake juke. Ooh, real juke. Oh, out of bounds, though. I mean, Showtime's fighting, boys. I told you guys. If I if there was one guy I would trust down 17 points, it's Showtime. We've seen that he likes being down 17. Mmm, big sheds right there. I almost called him Kurt Warner. Fred Warner shedding the sun god there. Bo Jackson. Oh, we've seen this motion over to Vernon Davis multiple times. Oh, oh, he, ooh, could have been a pick. And he just threw the ball right at Ed Reed right there. That's why Ed Reed, man, the last couple of years, him being short kind of just nerfs him a little bit, but. I mean, a taller player snatches that 100%. Dez with another timeout on defense. But a third and 10 call here, that timeout, it, it could be worth it if he calls the right defense here. I am absolutely a stickler for timeouts. I would never use them. And he's going to get the touchdown. Tough. 
Oh, what a play by Showtime. The man was down 17 yesterday. He wins the game. He was down 17 in this one. Chat was asking about giveaways. Half of the crowd left. And here we are. Back in the saddle, boys. Buckle up. Down by three. Showtime kicking the ball off. He's going onside in the third quarter. This is sicko mode. I mean, I, 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 Showtime doesn't play with much dignity, boys. I'll be honest. He plays with no dignity or integrity. You know, that's just, I mean, you're down three, dude. It's these new kids, man. It's really the new kids. An old school player would never do that that act right there. This is great defense. Nobody's open. He's got to get a shed, but he got he got pass block blitzed, pass block blitzed, and he gets a sack anyway. The fridge again. Yeah, I I, I hate long side kicks. I really do. I hate the message it sends that you're scared to play defense. RPO cut off the outside with Tillman. What was that? Oh my god. He picks up a big play right there. See, as a football player, you got to love to play defense. you got to love it. You don't got to be afraid of it. Good throw right there. We've seen that throw from Dez a lot. Not waiting for things to develop. If he sees the opening, he's going to take that free 10 yards you give him right there. People who onside kick can't fight. That's a valid statement. There we go. Inside the 10. We've seen Dez stop down here before. This is good defense. This is great defense. Click off and go get him. Oh, kafumble. Honestly, it's just giving yourself a chance for fluke. He manned up the oh, – oh, great juke by Dez right there. Great juke to keep his feet and get that first down. I think he manned up the defensive end, and the defensive end spun around and had nothing to do with that man up. Audibles from the bunch – or to the eye, to the wing, single back wing, three tight end stretch look. And he's going to get in the end zone with Bo Jackson, and the crowd goes wild. I can't lie, 88 is not bringing it today. He's not bringing it. Must have had a long night. Not bringing it. Not not his best performance tonight. I can't lie. In fact, he missed like half the game. Now he's back, just not bringing it. You know, I can't lie. A little disappointing. Not his best performance here tonight in the finals. They had a crowd, the crowd is ass, but you know, we didn't pay him. Maybe I promised too much to the crowd yesterday. I said we were getting crowd rewards, crowd payments, thunder sticks, and they, I, they expected too much. And maybe I, you know, maybe I wrote a check my I couldn't cash, you know. They hung over. And, I mean, you know. Oh, my God, Ed Reed. What a play by Ed Reed there. Great RPO defense. Oh, that's not the defense you want to play up 10 in the third quarter. Gives up another streak to Vernon Davis. Vernon Davis having himself a day, and the crowd responds. The crowd responds with fours up and applause. Scoring before the fourth is big. Some would say huge. Huge. Let's see what Showtime does here. Does he kick the ball deep like a man, or does he try to scum his life away? He's going for the scum tactic of an onside kick. But it's valid. It's the fourth quarter here. I can't hate too much. He's not going to catch this one. He might. He touched it. Oh, my gosh. It does with the crazy recovery. Gosh. You know what? As a viewer, I might love onside kicks. As a player, they must be the worst thing in the world. But watching them, they just get me going, boys. Oh, Almost a pick right there. Oh, Bo Jackson. You know what's great? As I watch Bo Jackson, I just keep thinking about how some people came to this tournament with Tiki Barber. That's just insane. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, good read. That's that backside route to Burris. Jukes and gets in the end zone. There it is. And Dez with another touchdown. That's Yeah, that was definitely a pick with Acro because he didn't dive all over the field or nothing. But if he had Acrobat, he would have picked that for sure. Chat, you guys get smarter every day. Every day I have a Twitch account, I learn that the chat gets smarter. No D tonight. That's tough. <laughs> the thing you got to tell yourself is that you still got time. Dez's poise can't be taught. Oh, he's going for that bomb again. He's He's got? What the hell? What are you? Did you aggressive catch that? I feel like you just got to go for the rack and pray right there. Well, here we go. That's going back into the, the G. Now, the G might be a, a safer defense for him. 
after giving up that streak last drive, he probably wants to play safe, keep the ball in front of him. We see that Christian. Oh, my gosh. I mean, why curl merchant? Just <laughs> like, I mean, and the crowd is into this one, boys. And here we go. At some point, you just got to call cover four, dude. Should it, should that have been intercepted by who? And we go for another on side, boys. Hold your britches. Take a deep breath. That one's illegal touching. I always think maybe he'll fat finger and not accept his penalty, but he's a pro. 0 for 3 on onside kicks. A actual crab behavior. Look at the boys fighting. Audibles to the trips. Let's see how much time does takes off the clock here. And he snaps at 9 seconds. But he hits the flat. Could be a tutty. I mean, just the, the desperation dives out of Showtime are insane. Oh, touchdown, Dez. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, boys. Now, like I said, I might be old, but this is the message you send to yourself and your team when you consist, consistently don't trust your defense and kick onside kicks. How good has Showtime's defense been in the second half? Terrible. People in the chat are probably thinking, I could do this. Why aren't I playing for $20,000? Well, that's what happens with the message you send to your team by onside kicking in the third quarter. You give them no confidence, and you give yourself no confidence. Life is about confidence, boys. And right now, Showtime has none on defense. And it's about time Dez hops in the good old cover foe. His six one is Duke. <laughs> All right, that's enough for tonight. What a comeback. That was a free form. That was a free form to seven o'clock. Boom. Show's not really a defensive player as he steps up here, hits the seed, good possession catch animation. He'll get right to the line, down by 10. But his, his hope has not faded here, boys. As Dez and back in the dollar, he's giving up on the G. DB fire, gets good blocks, takes off with Bo. Is he going for a play? No, he slides. Gets right back to the line. Four minutes, 30 seconds left here in the game. This is for everybody's tournament life. Mine's, yours, the viewers, the players, everybody. Two minutes and 25 seconds left. Wheel route, McCaffrey. And he gets through the defenders and scores a touchdown. Timing on that pass was beautiful. And, boys, he's 0 for 4 on the onside kicks. Now, this is the time where you 100% onside kick because, one, if you don't get it, you grant Dez field goal, position, field goal range, and he might kick a field goal on fourth down here. Let's see, boys. Hold on to your hats. The fourth onside kick is up. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a goal with Heath Miller again. Heath Miller. Heath with a huge recovery. His fifth of the game. Heath Miller. If it does, listen, I've learned a couple things, man. Bearmore, Heath Miller on the hands team, and Tillman doing something on your defense. A timeout there from Showtime. Oh, my God. Dez's hands team's got to be studied. Some say, I mean, he's got the home field advantage here. They might have glitched this system. Back to the single back bunch. Motion's out. Debo, let me stretch left here. Goes RPO, bumps into a player. Plexico, oh my gosh, he's going to go down there. Timeout with 2:07 on the clock. Showtime has life, but I'll tell you what, he's drowning right now, boys. He's kicking and screaming. The water's coming over his face. He's got it one chance and one chance only. He's got to make a play on the defensive side of the ball here. Makes that tackle right there. That's a awful timeout. That is a ridiculously bad timeout. That is an amateur foolish timeout because now two minute warning. All right, third and three for your tournament life, Showtime. What do you got? Yeah, that's a bad timeout because the class want to stop regardless. And what you do is you allow him to pass and risk an incomplete pass. Here we go. Third and three. Dad's doing what he does with the audibles. The play of his life for the trophy right here. Everything's on the line. Bo Jackson in the trips. Snaps the ball. Two-man rush. Fade outside over Derwin. And, I mean, 
Dez is just absolutely sliced and diced and made this 6-1 look Duke tonight, boys. He's made 6-1 look Duke, dropping 52 points on Showtime. Some would say Showtime gave him a 30-yard field every single possession. It's not hard to score 50 when someone gives you the ball at your own 30 every damn play. But he's done it easily. All right, but listen, let's just be honest here. As a group in the crowd in the chat, there's nothing more we want than a sixth onside kick attempt here, boys. All right? So let's see what Showtime got for us. As I expect us to send everybody, play some deep zones, make some tackles. But if you're Showtime, you got to focus on getting out of bounds. And he does flat right there. Even if you get eight yards, you get 12 out of bounds. That's beautiful. <laughs> and he gets another corner out and out of bounds. I mean, right up the field and in six total seconds, he gets to Dez's 39-yard line. You're in field goal range already, man. You got that. You're gonna get. We're gonna get another onside kick unless Showtime just does something stupid here. Another flat route out of bounds, 12 yards again. Like this is just tough. This is beautiful. We're getting the sixth onside with Heath Miller. Here we go, boys. Another quick snap. Flat. That was a tough pass to see. Although we've seen him. We've seen him. No. And, and, I mean, it doesn't matter that much. He wants to make a play right to the line. You got three throws to the end zone and a field goal here for showtime. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. And he caught it. That's the worst part about it. He caught it, but who knows? Who cares? I mean, right now you just take time. It doesn't matter. If you score a touchdown, that's all that matters, boys. Buckle up. We're coming in for a landing here, boys. Okay. Throw away. Nice. One minute, two seconds on the clock. Plenty of time, a little bit of hope, but that's what he's got to work with, boys. Can he make it shake? Onside for the game. We'll be coming up here, third and goal. Mm. Roll away, throw away. I honestly feel like you don't even kick a field goal. You're so close right here. You're so close. Yeah, I mean, you do need an onside to win. You might as well get it over, to, get it out of the way here. I don't know. He's going to go for it. I mean, it's not bad. You're not, gonna, you're not guaranteed to get this close again. I would kick and just go, but he's quick snapping. He's got life. He's got nothing. And Christian Bearmore is all over him. The player of the tournament so far, Christian Bearmore, is too fat and too slow. Showtime. Showtime has done more with less. He's, he's done more with less. He's done more with less. And a here we go, boys. Buckle up. He's done more with less. Buckle up, boys. Some would, some would say he's due. Some would say he's due. Jake Elliott putting a foot into this one. It's a bad one. Oh, he doesn't come up with it anyway. Heath Miller again all over the football. GG's, GG's. Heath Miller comes up with a crazy recovery. For the fifth onside kick recovery from Dez, Dez wins the trophy. There it is, boys. Love to see it. The man with Birkenstocks and four hundred thousand dollars earned earns another trophy for his a trophy case. Insanely accomplished man player. There it is. Red Hot Gaming Tour. Bring a trophy over here, man. There it is, and the crowd is wild. Nasty fit indeed. A nasty fit. All right, bring this trophy in here, man. Get, get, get in the shot. There you go. Boom. But move on over, man. Come on. The Red Hot Gaming trophy. You win. Congratulations, man. What was the key to recovering all those onside kicks? People need <laughs> to study your hands. They say you got the glitch. Honestly, like, I, I mean, I don't have the glitch. You should have recovered a couple of those, but, mm -hmm. you know, got lucky. You know, oh. ball went my way. Okay. I mean, what was the key to the whole tournament? That, I mean, we saw Decroft struggle. Was a little struggling against the 6-1, man. It was really getting after him. He couldn't put so many route combinations. You really just had your way with him the entire game. Like, what was the key you think to attacking his six-one defense? Uh, well, I mean, no offense to Showtime, but he just does a lot of the same stuff a lot on defense. So mm -hmm. I kind of knew what he was gonna do. Uh, he doesn't run a lot of different defenses, so that's kind of nothing crazy. Yeah, so you go a lot. Uh, some max protect plays, and you're taking those backside drags when he blitzed everybody. Really attacking the blitz pretty well. Yeah. Right, so, okay. I mean, so this. I said you got two belts. You have over four hundred thousand dollars won. 
Is this, what is this? Do you think like this year, some people said you had an off year this year. How do you think this is going to kind of bring you back on in the Madden 25? Yeah, I think I definitely had like kind of a disappointing year in my mm -hmm. eyes. So uh, after Madden Bowl, I just, you know, got on the grind a lot. Been playing a, a, a ton and obviously it's paid off. So it's dope. There you go. Well, congratulations. Well, you know where you're going to put this in, in the room there? You're going to put this in, in the room back behind the stream or what? No, nah, I'll definitely put this in my room for sure. It's uh, sick. That's that's dope. All right, there you go. So you you, you defended the, the home turf here. You can move on. Get the W in the Red Hot Gaming two hundred or twenty thousand dollar tournament. Take home your prize of that and the trophy, man. Congratulations. Appreciate it. It was an honor to watch you play, man, and take care of business, man. There he is, Des. W's in the chat. Round of applause in the yeah. crowd. The crowd's been going crazy all weekend. They showed out beautifully. You see them. You see them there. The crowd has been epic the entire time, boys. I mean, listen. I don't want to say yeah. I said, I mean, big W for Des, man. He really showed out, played great in every game. Uh, Vols had him on the ropes. He came out with a W in that game. Wins tonight against Dignity pretty easily. Goes on and scores 52. They dropped a 50 burger on the 6 1 of Showtime. He was ready for it, had an answer every single time he needed a big pass. And Des got it done, man, for sure. Uh, it was great. Thank you guys for being here. We got, as they threw on, they put on this $20,000. It was over 40000 for the entire the entire circuit. The entire year, we had 16 qualifiers, Express CS CFMs, everything that they put on for us, boys. It's been great. Uh, looking forward to more things coming up with them. We had two nights here. Tomorrow night, we'll have Maze's tournament. His, his He's been running with uh, Lobby Up as well. Both of these guys putting on a spectacular events for the man community the entire year, whether it be CFMs, leagues, tournaments, everything. They've been putting on for the uh, underground sweats. Tons of money. These guys can win. You see, we're putting on live events now. The future of competitive Madden's only getting better, boys. And thanks to uh, people like Red Hot Gaming, people like Gamenetics, people like Ugly Johns, obviously EA for supporting this event as well. That's been huge. Uh, we can only go as far as EA supports Underground Madden, Grassroots Madden, and this is uh, this is what it's about, boys. Uh, I'm glad you guys showed out. The chat has been crazy. The crowd has been crazy. Looking forward to doing more of these in the future. Glad you guys were here, man. Glad you guys checked in on the social media the entire year. We've had multiple streams and all culminated to this. Des taking home the championship. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for being here.